Laurent Barad. I'm a principal at SAS within the RQS division. I'm the head of uh, CISO and IFRS 9 for the Americas. CISO is going to require you to have a production process that can run in 10 days. That involves uh, running quantitative models, going through a review and challenge process, uh, going through some type of you know, audit review at least before the financials, and then generating regulatory reports and financials within a 10-day period. That's the process you're going to set up, right? And it's going to have internal controls for financial reporting review. So it's going to be a very efficient, streamlined process, right? So that could be a template for other, uh, for other types of exercises. So if you could apply this to some parts of CCAR, right, or some parts of business uh, as usual forecasting, uh, that would be a great, you know, a great win from just from a process perspective, having the right workflows, the right approval, sign off, the right review mechanisms, the ability to run models that fast for in the review process to answer questions. That's uh, one thing. The other is, uh, imagine this is a, a real life example. Uh, we ha we had uh, a bank had some, you know, some people that were uh, tremendous at building uh, a prepayment model, right? So the mortgage group typically are much more adept at doing this, and then you had these guys in finance who were doing business as usual forecasting but didn't have a prepayment model. How nice would it be if that prepayment model was reusable such that now the finance guy who cannot afford to hire quants and build these models, well, we already have one built for mortgage. If this was a component model that can be reused, now it can be sl slid over to uh, these guys so that they can do sort of profit and, and, and revenue forecast. Then they can use the best of breed model that's available in a shared library to build their own models. Now the bank doesn't have to hire another quant for them or they don't have to use a subpar model and get a more accurate forecast. Right? So those two examples of how you can sort of reuse and leverage your investments. If you get rewarded for creating assets that are reusable, right? maybe your, your annual reviews or your bonus structure should be put in this way. If you're, if you're a modeler and you're building you know, some type of model, uh, it's up to you to figure out, okay, what is, I'm going to be doing this. They asked me to do this, but what other things could this be used for, right? So creatively, I'm the one on the ground. I'm the one doing the work. If I'm incentivized to also think about, I need to do this, but also I could, you know, build it such that, you know, my neighbors next door who I know are working on something similar, we could share things rather than, no, I'm just going to, you know, make sure that I'm better than they are and I can meet my targets, right? So I think it's a really a, a people, a people incentive uh, a process that needs to be put in place, right? And again, I can't say enough, I always refer to the Silicon Valley, you know, firms, but, you know, Google got the way it is because they incentivize the people the right way, right? They create the right culture and I think risk management to try to you know emulate sort of the same type of you know people process, if you will. Even though they've you know typically risk management is shunned by the by the rest of the bank because they're a cost center and they're they're nagging and whatnot, maybe it needs to be renamed, right? Maybe it's the value creation center, right? Rather than risk management. But